Jetzt möchte ich zwei Freundinnen, Elisa und Kascha von DiEM25 auf die Bühne bitten. Afrin, you are more than just the horrible pictures of wounded men, women and children that make me cry. You are more than just a synonym for an evil propaganda war that doesn't know the difference between people defending their lives and democracy and terrorists. You are more than just the target of a double standard politics of dirty armed deals. You are not just the place where war and crime is taking human life away every day. You just don't deserve this because you are the courageous women and men who are defending their land and their communities from being brutally wiped out. You are Saleh Muslim who is now a free man again. You are the shining light that shines through modern, dusty skies of modern passivity. You are all the people who are gathering around this planet to express their solidarity. Afrin, you prove that we are collective agents of history. We, in the Democracy in Europe movement, DiEM25, can only tell you that we stand behind you with all our humanity inside us. And we can tell you that we know that we will not have democracy in Europe, as our name suggests, if we don't have democracy in the Middle East, in Latin America, in Africa, and so on, because this would be a utopia in the true sense of the meaning. Very much, we find ourselves in a quite dystopian moment. In Europe, we seem to be stuck in a dangerous double bind between an extreme right, or let's just call them fascists, and a neoliberal version of there is no alternative politics. The one produces the other. But this is just a partial truth. As the experience of Rojava in its radical context has shown, is that people can resist their deep dehumanization and simultaneously build alternatives in the here and the now. We resist and create at the same time. But we will not be radical if our actions aren't rooted in communities, as Dilari Rik reminds us. We can no longer think as individuals. Our time is together making. This is why we resist in our communities in Thessaloniki and Athens against the deprivation of our lives through harsh austerity politics. And we can tell you that a better Europe is possible if we show the political will. We resist today on the streets of Leipzig on the so-called Women's Fight Day because we know that we will not change anything if we don't center women's struggle at the core of our agenda and political Woo! culture. We resist in our communities in Belgrade against the privatization of goods, the so-called waterfront project and an inherently corrupt government. And we will run in the city elections tomorrow as an alternative. We resist every single day in our friendship and love against the ongoing colonization of our minds. And as famous Emma Baker said, those who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. All we can say, deep from our heart, is Defend Afrin! We shall!